Hi there everyone. As you may have seen in the title, this video is on how to quickly draft a cap sleeve. So go grab a pen and a paper and let's get to it. Here I have a long paper that is long enough to cover my ammo so you can um, get one too and so my ammo is 18 inches I'm going to minus 2 from the 18 inches which is 14 so on that paper I'm going to mark 14 inches like that so whatever your ammo is just minus 2 from it so here I have my 14 inches all on here and I have draw a line that is 14 inches long. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look for the middle of this line. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I'm going to put a mark where the 7 inches is to mark the middle of the line. Like that. So for every cap sleeve, um, a standard measurement for cap sleeve is just five, I mean, it's four inches. So I'm going to draw four inches on that line, that uh, on that middle line that I just uh, marked. Okay, that's four inches. So I'm going to grab my ruler and I'm going to draw out four inches. Right? Then you can just get your curve ruler and draw a curve from the apex of the sleeve to that long ammo line. And here is what it's going to look like when you're done. I'm going to go ahead and add seam allowance to it. So I'm adding half an inch seam allowance first to that ammo line down there. Then I'm also going to add it to the curves like that. So here I'm just going to use my ruler to kind of mark out half an inch all the way around that curve then I'm just I'll use my curve ruler to finish it up and here is what it looks like after you get done so here is your cap sleeve sleeves so you can just cut it out and use it to cut out your fabric then add it to your your ammo and there it is but if you want to take it a step further like I wanted mine to have gathers so what I'm do going to do if I want to add gathers to my arm to my um, cap sleeve um, just I'm going to get a bigger paper I will lay it under my, my paper Then I'm going to do some markings. So right from that center line, I'm going to mark two inches. Then I'm going to draw a line, two inches from the left, then two inches from the right, like that. And when I get done, I will go ahead and I'm going to, to cut it. like that but I will make sure that I'm not cutting it all the way through the pattern so I'm going to cut it like up to there then I'm going to cut the middle the center line
then I'm going to cut that third line too. And when I'm done cutting, I'm going to place it on that bigger paper. Then I'm going to start adding some allowances or spaces in between the, those lines. So I'm adding one inch into those um, lines. So I'm going to add one inch space in between there. Then I'm going to go to the middle line. I'm going to add one inch there too. Then I'm going to mark it. Then I'm just I don't have a tape, so I'm just gonna use this washers to hold it hold it down. Then I'm going to go to that third line, then I'm going to add one inch there. So depending on how much gather you gathers that you want, we determine how much space you're going to put in between so i'm marking that too so now i have added one inch to each of these lines so what i'm going to do next is that i'm just going to go ahead and start tracing it out i don't need to add same allowance here because I, I'm, I'm already i'm cutting on the same allowance so there's no need to add another same allowance so go ahead and trace it out like I'm doing right now. So you can use your ruler to reshape it when you're done tracing. So I'm just going to trace over those opening like that. So I'm done tracing it here. So I'm just going to remove the, the washers off of here. Then I'm going to remove the draft paper. And here is what it looks like after I got done. So I'm going to mark the center line. Then I'm going to cut it. So those that line right there and that line right there are going to be my notches. So remember to notch those and also notch the center line too. So that is where the gather is going to be in between those two notches. So, I mean those two side notches. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to cut it out. And once you're done cutting, that's it. If you want gathers on your cap sleeve, that is how to draft it. So if you want to know how I join the sleeves, how I made the gathers, and how I join it to the ammo, then you can follow along this video with me. So I have gone ahead and I have cut out the pattern. I have made the notches on the center line and those side lines. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out two pieces of this fab from the fabric that I'm using here and I'm cutting it with the right side facing each other. I'm done cutting it here and I'm trying and I'm going to go ahead and put in my notches so that's my center notch and that is the side notch and that is where the gather is going to start and that the other side notch is where the gathers is going to stop remember to put that because you're going to need it i have cut out two sleeves so here's what we're going to do so from that notch right there to the other notch at the other side we're going to do one basting stitch from there all the way to the other notch then come back so I have done the basting stitch so that is what it looks like that is the stitch right there so before we continue from one notch to another so before we continue we're just 
going to go ahead and do the hem of the sleeve. So that is the wrong side of my sleeve. So I'm going to fold the hem to the wrong side with a half an inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to just go ahead and take it to the machine and sew it down with half an inch seam allowance. I'll do the two sleeves and that is what it looks like after I got done. I also finished the edges. Now let's get back to our stitch. So what we're trying to do is we're just trying to do a gather to gather that top of that sleeve. Every stitch has two thread in them. So we're just going to grab one of the thread in the stitch that we made. I usually use the down thread. So I'm going to pull it a little bit and distribute. I have a video on how to make gathers. So I'm going to put a link to the video down in the description below. So once I got to the middle, um, I turn to the other side also. So I'm pulling the thread a little bit and distributing the gathers. I'll pull the thread a little, distributing the gathers, just making sure I'm not over pulling the thread. So when I have enough gathers, I'm going to just stop. Then we're going to cut out that excess at the edge of the hem of the sleeve like that. Then we'll be joining the sleeve to the bodice. If you're not adding gathers to your sleeve, just omit all this part. Okay, so when you're done with your gathers, now we're going to add it to the bodice with right side facing each other. We're going to start from one inch from the side seam, like you see right there. So we're going to start pinning. And I make sure the right sides are facing each other. So I'm pinning the sleeve to the ammo. Right side facing each other. And also, I'm also making sure that the gutters are all aligned. So what I usually do sometimes is that I just go and I start pinning again from the other side of the sleeves, making sure the gathers are well distributed because sometimes the gathers are so tight that you have to like loosen it up. So I'm going to the other side of the, of the ammo, then I'm going to pin it also from there, making sure I leave one inch from the side seam. Then I'm going to keep pinning like that. Just make sure that everything is all aligned. So here is that that's the center of the sleeve. Align the center of the sleeve to that shoulder line. Then pin them together. Then just go ahead and distribute the gathers evenly. like that. So add some more pins if you think, you know, you want to add some more pins. And if you don't, it's okay too. So I'm just going to add some more pins here and also add some more pins at this other side here just to make sure I have enough and that the gathers are secured before I take it to the machine. And I'm going to take it to the machine. Okay, that is what it looks like after I got adding the pin. Then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it with half an inch seam allowance all the way down. Okay, so here is what it looks like after I got done stitching it together. Remember, I'm starting from out one inch from the side seam all the way around. So I'm going to turn it and there it is. I also did the same thing to the other side. 
okay so um we are not done yet so we still have to stitch that little space remaining the one on top of the side seam right there we still have to stitch it down so you go do it to the two sides so right here I am done stitching that ammo area and that's it if you are new to my channel and you are able to watch the video till the end thank you for watching I hope you are able to gain one or two things from the video if you are a returning subscriber thank you for sharing my videos uh, if you have any question please leave the comment down in the description box below I will try as much as possible to respond don't forget to subscribe like and press the notification button stay blessed bye